All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. We just finished uh, the little side quest. Well, kind of finished the little side quest where we have to retrieve the Devon goods from the Team Magma Grunt that stole them, and we're just now going to return them to this cool gentleman to our left. Let's do so. Oh, how did it go? The Devon goods? You did it. You got them back. You really are a great trainer. I know. As my thanks, I'll give you another great ball. We got another great ball. Excuse me, please. Please come with me. Dope. This is the Devon Corporation's third floor. Our president's office is on this floor. Anyway, I can't tell you how much I'm grateful for what you've done. Um, by the way, that parcel you got back for us? Could I get you to deliver that to the shipyard on Slateport? It would be awful if those robbers tried to take it again. <laughs> so, uh, could I count on you to do that for me? You're not gonna give me an option, are you? Oh, that's right. Could you wait here a second? Sure. We have nothing else to do with our day. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. Hey. Please go ahead. Don't don't you dare rush me while I'm joking. This is my jail. Hey. 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 Okay, fine. I'm Mr. Stone, the president of the Devon Corporation. I just got word about you. You saved our staff not just once but twice. I have a favor to ask of an amazing person like you. I understand that you're delivering a package to ship Slateport's shipyard. Well, on the way, could you stop off in Duford Town? I was hoping that you'd deliver a letter to Stephen in Duford. I mean, you're not going to give me a choice either, are you? While we're here, since I'm busy saving your staff, how about you just put me on the payroll? Can I get a job here? Uh, how's the interview process? It, like, is, was the dress code all right? Am I, was what I'm wearing now good? Y'all accept bandanas? What up? Now, you should know that I am a great president, so i never be so cheap as to ask a favor for nothing in return. That's why I want you to have this. He gave us the Pokenav. That device? It's a Pokemon Navigator, or Pokenav for short. It's an indispensable tool for any trainer on an adventure. It has a map of the Hoenn region. You can check the locations of Duper, Duford and Slateport easily. Let's go ahead and check that sucker. All right, so it has our map. It has our map in case we want to, you know, go get lost somewhere. It has condition for our Pokemon, which we're going to use soon. And it also has uh, trainer's eyes, which tells us things about the trainers that we met thus far. Like leader Roxanne. Her strategy is rock type power attack, you know, like she had with that Chencho. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. All right. So we got uh, the, 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 the Pokenav. And in exchange, we have to deliver a letter to Duford, Duford, Duford Town, Duford Island, something. And then we also have to deliver the goods to Slateport. All right. So we got a few side quests on our hands. Let's see. How are we going to get there? Because if we check the map, if we take a look at the map, this is Rustboro City. This is where we are now. This this area. That's actually really cool that you can zoom in on it, by the way. And then... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. And then down here is Duford Town. And then over here is Slateport City. How are we going to get there? How are we going to get all the way over there? Uh, first thing I need to do, definitely, if I clown around anymore, is heal up our Pokemon. Give me a second. All right. So how are we going to get there? Also, we need to buy some items. We need to buy some items. Give me a hot second. All right. So we stocked up on our mess, and look who it is. Oh, hi, Jill. How's your Pokedex coming along? Mine's looking pretty decent. I caught Pokemon in Pillowberg Woods until I ran out of Pokeballs. Okay, moving on. <laughs> I guess that's her way of telling us if we want to proceed on our side quest, we're going to have to head... Oh, we already fought her. I was to say, what the hell is she doing? We're going to have to head back through the Petalberg Woods. But I think there's a thing in here that I can get if I haven't already gotten it. Yes, there's an item in 
this here shop. It's actually a flower shop. Hello, this is the Pretty Petal Flower Shop, spreading flowers throughout the world. Your name is? Chill. That's a nice name. You know, people in this land like my name a lot. I should probably tell them it's short for Chilandre. Chill, would you like to learn about berries? Of course I would. Berries grow on trees that thrive only in dark, loamy soil. If you take some berries, be sure to plant one in the loamy soil again. A planted berry will soon sprout, grow into a flower or a plant, flower beautifully, then grow berries again. I want to see the whole world, world filled with beautiful flowers. That's my dream. Please help me, Chill. Plant berries and bring more flowers into the world. So I talked to her and she's not going to give me nothing. Let's see, is it this girl? Hello. The more attention you give to flowers, the more beautifully they bloom. You'll like tending flowers. I'm sure of it. You can have this. We got the Wilmer Pale. We got the Wilmer Pale. While berries plant, while berry plants are growing, water them with the Wilmer Pale. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground. But they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. Dope. That's what we came for. I want to talk to the other girl. Let's be out. Let's be out. All right. Uh, let's head back through the Pillowberg Woods, and then we'll be able... Wait, were we supposed to get cut this early? We're supposed to get cut from somebody? I don't think so. We'll be we'll be fine. We're heading back through the woods. We'll be okay. It'll be all right, fam All right, so if you remember, there was a house right here. This is Mr. Briney's Cottage. Let's go ahead and... Look at this man. Look at this man running around with his bird. Look at this man. Like he's got nothing else to do with his life. Damn it. I keep messing up. Let's see. There we go. Hold on, lass. Wait up, Piku. Oh, you're chill. You saved my darling Piku. We owe you. So we owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? Hmm. Hmm. You have a letter bound for Duford and a package for Slate Fort. Slate Port. Eventually, I'm going to get both of those names right in the same sentence. Damn. Quite the busy life you lead. But certainly, what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man. We'll set sail for Duford. Duford, here we come. Anchors away. Piku, we're setting sail, my darling. All right, on the boat we go. This man got his own boat. I want my own boat. Dope. Dope. This boat's a lot slower than I remember. I remember it being just hella fast. Ahoy! We've hit Landon Duford. I suppose you ought to deliver that letter to... Who was it now? Steven! Thanks for peeking in on my business. And reminding me on where I need to go. Thank you. Oh, they got a gym here. Let's heal up, you know, just so they recognize that we've been here already. And then we can explore the land. Uh, we need to deliver this letter, but we also need to check out that gym. We're not going to check it out today. It's too soon for us to already be on another, uh, be on a second gym battle. But we will, we will take on that gym very shortly. Let's see. Route 106 means we got another opportunity for a catch, but we need a fishing rod to do so. Uh, ooh, that was close. Because I don't believe there's any way to encounter Pokemon here in the overworld aside from fishing. So we'll, we'll worry about that in a hot second. Also, Granite Cave. It should be pretty dark, I believe. If Pokemon's flash could light it up, people could travel. Hey, you, it gets awfully dark ahead. It'll be tough trying to explore. That guy who came by earlier, Steven, I think it was, he knew how to use Flash, so he ought to be all right. But, well, for us hikers, helping out those is helping out those that we meet is our motto. Here you go. I'll pass this on to you. We got Flash. That's pretty dope. Teach that hidden move Flash to a Pokemon and use it. It lights up even the inky darkness of caves. But to use it, you need the gem badge from Duford's Pokemon gem. All right, so a lot has been told to us here. Uh, this man just told us that Steven already went ahead, and he was able to travel through with no problem because he could use Flash. We don't have the ability to use Flash yet because we don't have the Duford gym badge. So we're going to have to get that badge pretty soon. We're going to have to get that badge. Let's see if we can get an encounter before 
We actually try to travel through here. A big mushroom. That might be helpful. That might be helpful. For if we don't use flash, this is what it looks like. And while I could probably travel this with no problem, I can struggle through here. A, this is a Nuzlocke, so I don't want to risk it. And B, that makes for a bad video. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna do that, but I will try to get an encounter here. Who we got? Spinda! Spinda! Alright, oh, we can't, what is it? We can't confuse Spinda because of own tempo. We either can't confuse or can't put it to sleep. Let's try it out. We can't confuse it. Good, because we wasn't going to. We got sleep powder. Come on, magic. Come on, magic. Here's confusion. Don't kill it. Magic, if you kill, I'm going to be upset. Good work. Ooh, that crit dough. All right. Spinda, let's try a great ball. Since, you know, we got an extra. Dope. Dope. Spinda, the spot panda Pokemon. All the Spinda that exist in the world are said to have utterly unique spot patterns. That's actually one of my favorite things about Spinda, about Pokemon in general, that they have Pokemon like this to show off a lot of the features that are introduced in each generation. For Spinda, it's the fact that I believe it's um, the PID, the Pokemon ID. They all have a certain number, and that number helps them determine whether or not they're shiny. For Spinda, it takes it to the next level, and their PID determines where the spots are on its ear. Oh, I'm sorry, both ears, and then in place of both eyes. It's pretty dope. Uh, nickname for Spinda, of course. Spinda, the Spot Panda. Uh, okay. Let's see. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is mask. This is Mask. Mask the Spinda. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at why I called her that. If you take a look at her eyes, it looks like, okay, her left eye. Her left eye. This is my left eye for those of you who are, who are wondering. Her left eye has a hole where you can see through, and then the rest of her face is covered. You know, kind of. I, th I think it's cool. I think that looks cool. Uh, Mass, the Jolly Spinda with own tempo for the ability. It means it can't be confused. These are the stats. And then the moves. We have Tackle and Uproar. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, like I said, we're not going to traverse this place in the dark. That's how you kill your team. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but that's how you kill your team. Uh, we're not going to kill our team. There's a Slugma. Slugma keeps showing up when, and when I do Nuzlocke. And actually, I like Slugma. We've had so many powerful slugmas in our playthroughs. All right. Now let's get no. I'm just trying to leave. I'm just trying to leave. Let's bounce. Okay. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. What's going on? They got Spinarex. They got the Spinarex. All right. So now, now that we've got that solved, we've got our encounter for, for, for Granite Cave. We know that to progress the Granite Cave, we need Flash. What we could do, we could go on to Duford Town. I'm so, oh God, I'm here already. We could go to Slateport City and just progress a little bit and come back later. But that's a little bit dangerous. So what I might do is just train up. We could take on the gym already. We take on the gym already and then we can be out. Then we can then we can head through a uh, granite cave and actually progress to what we need to be doing. Let's heal, let's heal and then save as soon as this man gets out of our spot. As soon as this man gets out of our spot. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Ruby Nuzlocke. If you enjoyed this video and love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's a subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video posts to the channel or whenever we start a live stream. 
Uh, we got a bunch of live streams coming up. I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm hyped. Uh, thank you guys for checking this out. Why are you looking at me? Why are you looking at me? What's wrong with you? Thank God. Stop it. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you guys later with more here on Alt Play. He gonna get cussed out. Responding to the comments for Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke Episode 1. Why not immediately? Yeah, I can't stand. Why not? Wobbuffet, that entire line scares me. I'm so scared whenever they show up in battle. The leader is very tough. <laughs> Solid starter, to be honest. Hype for this series. Me too. I like that I like when I'm given the opportunity to play with a starter that I've never seen before, that I've never really even used before. Aaron is that exactly. I have no idea how to use Aaron. I hope he makes it throughout the course of this adventure with me. First move of the game, and it missed. Hope that's not a sign of things to come. I was I was blown. I can't believe we missed the first attack. That's that's a definitely an omen. That's definitely an omen. Yes, finally. Yeah, I'm excited too, buddy. <laughs> 